from the Alex Trebek stage at Sony Picture Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here are today's contestants. A retired iron worker and writer from Peculiar, Missouri, Mike Howard. A student and part-time engagement specialist from Rosemead, California, Elizabeth Mitchell. And our returning champion, a Ph.D. student from New Haven, Connecticut, Matt Amodio, whose 33-day cash winnings total $1,267,801. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Liam the Alley. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Welcome to Jeopardy, and welcome to week eight of Matt Amodio's record-breaking run. On Friday's show, with his 33rd win, he became the second winningest contestant in Jeopardy! history, behind only Ken Jennings. <laughs> we are so happy to welcome Elizabeth and Mike to the game. Good luck to all three of you. Let's kick off the Jeopardy! round with these categories. Four-letter book titles. Baseball Hall of Famers by initials. Inconceivable. If at first you don't succeed, fry, fry again. Matt, you pick first. Book 1000. It's the original title of Sapphire's novel about Clarice Precious Jones. Matt. What's push? Yes. Baseball 1000. He took a big lead and slid into the Hall of Fame in 2009. R.H. Matt. What's Henderson? That's right. Inconceivable 1000. Riddle named Nazi enciphering machine. Matt. What's Enigma? Correct. Succeed 1000. In 2004, the line of succession changed in this country when King Abdullah II dubbed his half-brother Hamza ex-heir apparent. Matt. What's Jordan? Yes. First 1000. As leader of Poland from 1956 to 1970, Władysław Gomułka held this Communist Party title. Mike. What is premier? No. <laughs> Matt. What's first secretary? Correct. It's got uh, the word first in it. Fry Fry 1000. This ovoid appetizer with a nationality in its name is enclosed in sausage and breadcrumbs. Elizabeth. What are Rocky Mountain oysters? No. Oh. What is Scotch Egg, Matt? Book 800. Named for a music genre, this Toni Morrison novel involves a Harlem love triangle. Matt. What's jazz? Yes. Uh, baseball 8. Spectacular Southpaw, S-K. Matt. What's Koufax? The great Sandy Koufax, yes. First 800. There's a daily double right off the bat. You have 6,600. Both Elizabeth and Mike are in the red. How much would you like to wager? 6,600, please. A true daily double. Here's your clue. Primus inter pares is Latin for this, the member of a power-sharing group with a little more juice than the rest. What's first among equals? That is correct. <laughs> Takes you to 13,200. Pick again. Inconceivable eight. A six-foot unit of nautical measurement is within this word, meaning impossible to understand. Matt. What's well, unfathomable? Yes. Succeed eight. Joyce Mujuru was set to succeed Robert Mugabe as leader of this African nation, but got dismissed as vice president in 2014. Matt. What's well, Zimbabwe? Correct. Fry eight. This long Mexican fritter is deep fried, cinnamon coated, and all delicious. Matt. What's well, churro? Yes. Uh, book six. Coming between night and day, it's the middle title in Elie Wiesel's acclaimed trilogy. Mike. What is Twilight? No. <sighs> Matt. What's noon? No. What is dawn? Matt. Baseball six. Class of 2020, DJ. Elizabeth. Who is Derek Jeter? That's him. Um, if at first for 200. This covers the right of the people to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Matt. What's First Amendment? That is correct, and that will take us to our first commercial break. We'll be back right after this. Say hello to our contestants. <laughs> Welcome back. Mike Howard from Peculiar, Missouri. You're a retired 
iron worker and also a writer, but you, you built enough bridges that you can drive around and say, I built that? Oh, that, that's one of the greatest things about that job is that you can drive around and, and point out what you've worked on, that you had a part in it. My friends are tired of, of hearing about it. <laughs> uh, but my wife still, when she goes around with her friends, will point out the things that I've worked on. That's really sweet. Elizabeth Mitchell, student and part-time engagement specialist from Rosemead, California. You have a, a flower sleeve tattoo. What does it represent? Uh, so it's not quite a sleeve, it's just about to here, but it represents women in my life who have influenced me and helped me grow. And uh, one of the most memorable ones is an orchid I have for my nonna, or my grandmother, and she's the one who inspired my love for this game. And even though she passed in 2000, she's still with me. <laughs> That's really nice. Matt Amodio from New Haven, Connecticut. You are a PhD student. You were invited to join a bar trivia team by another Yale student at the Jeopardy audition? That's a lot of things coming together at once. Yeah, I drove up to Boston for my Jeopardy audition. Somebody else there said he went to Yale. We talked afterwards. He invited me onto his bar trivia team, and I just hope I've been a valuable member of the team. Maybe you should have him tattooed on your shoulder. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, your pick. Inconceivable six. Bewitched, bothered, and perplexed wasn't quite the right song title, so folks went with this synonym. Matt. What's bewildered? Yes. First six? Two-word term describing an EMT who goes to a crisis area to provide immediate assistance. Elizabeth. What is a first responder? Yes, that gets you to 200. Uh, if at first for 400? Sounds like bad grammar, but me is an objective singular pronoun of this linguistic form. Matt. What's first person? Correct. Succeed six? In 1978, Giovanni Benelli was said to be a favorite twice to be the successor in this job, but did not have the votes. Matt. What's well, Pope? That's right. Fry six. Aw, Cher. Acadians graced Louisiana with this sugar-covered fried treat, whose name comes from French for fritter. Matt. What's well, beignet? Yes. Uh, books four. In chapter one of this book, a great fish severs a woman's femoral artery, the blood now a beacon clear and true. What is Jaws? Matt, pick again. Baseball four. Look at numbers like 7,356 innings pitched and you'll see why. Matt. What's Young? Cy Young, yes. Inconceivable four. Add a Y to this four letter word for gloom or a dark mist and you get a word for hard to understand. Mm. What is Merck? Matt. Succeed four. In a 1998 floor speech, Bob Livingston stunned colleagues by saying he would not succeed Newt Gingrich in this job. Matt. What's Speaker of the House? Correct. Fry four. Shrimp and vegetables are popular fillings for this battered and deep fried Japanese dish. Elizabeth. What is tempura? That's it. Fry fry again 200. Stick with it. This fried favorite made its debut at the 1942 Texas State Fair. Matt. What's corn dog? Yes, a combination of two delicious things. Baseball too? Made the last of 21 straight all-star teams in 1975, H.A. Mike. Who is Hank Aaron? That's him. Uh, inconceivable, 200. Crossword, jigsaw, sudoku, all are a real this. Mike. What's a puzzle? Correct. You don't succeed, 200. Killing a man was one good reason this vice president did not succeed his boss, Jefferson. Later, he got busted for treason. Matt. What's Burr? Yes, this is the last clue. This 1981 novel is named for a sick 200 pound St. Bernard in Maine. Mike. Who's, what is Cujo? That's correct. Mike, things are looking up. You've gotten three of the last four correct. Let's keep that going. You'll pick first in Double Jeopardy right after this. Welcome back, it's time for Double Jeopardy, where the dollar amounts are doubled and there are two daily doubles hidden among these categories. Rivers of Asia, the arts, medical terms. This category is filler, sci-fi movie synopses, and before and after. Mike, the board is yours. Rivers of Asia for 2000, please. Long considered sacred, the Godavari River flows 910 miles west to east across India into this bay. 
Mike. What is the Bay of Bengal? Correct, and that takes you to second place. Rivers of Asia, 1600. There's a daily double. You can wager up to 2,000. How much would you like to wager? 2,000, please. All right, here is your clue. This Lake of Israel, famous for its biblical associations, is fed and drained by the Jordan River. What is the Sea of Galilee? That is correct. <laughs> Takes you to 3,000. Rivers, 1,200. The Mekong River fluctuates greatly during the year with its highest levels after the rains of this wind system. Matt. What's monsoon? Yes. Medical term 60. Used to describe a method of taking medication, it means below the tongue. Matt. What's sublingual? Mm-hmm, yes. Art, 16. Eugene O'Neill described this four-act family drama as old sorrow written in tears and blood. Matt. What's long day's journey into night? That's right. Uh, medical, 12. Distal means away from the point of origin. This similar sounding word means pertaining to the back. Mike. What is dorsal? Correct. Uh, filler for 400. In linguistics, this four-letter word associated with simile making is considered a filler word. Matt. What's like? Yes. Arts, 12. The christening, the spell, and the awakening are all part of this fairy tale ballet. Matt. What's sleeping beauty? Correct. Medical, 2,000. There's another daily double. You have 24,600. How much of it would you like to wager? 5,000, please. Here's your clue. Often administered through an inhaler, it's the 14-letter term for a medication that opens up the airways. What's bronchodilator? Correct. Very nice. Takes you to 29,600. Arts 2000. Paul Signac used this technique that he helped pioneer in his painting, The Red Buoy, seen here. Matt. What's pointillism? Correct. Uh, filler 2000. This French name delight seen here in a bowl and as filling is made by whipping up chocolate and heavy cream. Matt. What's ganache? <laughs> yes. Left me for a minute there. Uh, 16 for filler. Used as filling in a defensive wall near Mount Olympus, a 2,200-year-old statue of this queen and goddess was found in 2006. Matt. What's Hera? That's right. Uh, filler 12. If gray is not your favorite color, block filler is used to paint this type of block made from burned matter. Matt. What's cinder block? Correct. Before and after 2000? Late summer arts festival in the desert that's a basement hangout with TV and beer. Matt. What's burning man cave? Yes. Uh, before and after 16? Artistic left bank region of Paris that's a meaty McDonald's burger. Matt. Uh, what's Reeve Gauche? Nope. Burger. <laughs> that's all I got. What is Latin quarter pounder? There we go. Matt, pick again. Uh, before and after 12. Geographic latitude separating the two Koreas, that's a gymnastics apparatus. Matt. What's 38th parallel bars? You got it. Uh, Sci-Fi 2000. Cruise and crafty computer collaborate on crimes not yet committed. Elizabeth. What is Total Recall? No. Matt. What's Minority Report? That's it. Uh, Sci-Fi 16. Aging actors assume anterior aspects Alan aids admiring aliens against annihilation. Elizabeth. What is Galaxy Quest? Yes, and that gets you to 200. Um, Sci-fi for 400. Rick retires replicants. Roy Rutger ruminates in rain. Matt. What's Blade Runner? Correct. Sci-fi 12. Beleaguered botanist bolsters base. Buddies bounce back, boost on board. Matt. What's Martian? Yes, the Martian. Before and after eight. Southern State Capital Confection that's made of crystallized sugar. Matt. What's Little Rock candy? Correct. Uh, rivers eight. In some areas, mountains more than one mile high form the banks of this river that runs from Tibet to the East China Sea. Matt. What's Yangtze? Yes. Arts eight. Your tiny hand is frozen, let me warm it in mine, sings Rodolfo Tamimi in this opera. Matt. What's Labo M? That's it. Uh, medical eight. By definition, keratitis is an inflammation of this part of the eye. 
Matt. What's cornea? Correct. Category filler, eight. As a bonus gift, surround that delicate item you mail to a pal with bags of freshly made this, maybe Orville Redenbacher's? Elizabeth. What is popcorn? That's right. Before and after 400? Top equestrian trio of races that are next in line to be the reigning monarch. Matt. What's triple crown prince? You got it. Sci-fi eight. Linguistics last learns lexicon of labyrinthine life forms. Elizabeth. What is arrival? Correct. Medical terms 400? Misophonia is a disorder in which a person is triggered and distressed by these. Elizabeth. What is sound or noises? Yes, both are acceptable. Uh, the arts for 400. Joseph Haydn told Leopold, dad of this prodigy, your son is the greatest composer known to me in person or by name. Matt. What's Mozart? Correct. And the final clue. In this frigid region, Russia's Lena River rises near Lake Baikal and flows over 2,700 miles north to the Laptev Sea. Matt. What's Siberia? That's correct. And that will bring us to the end of Double Jeopardy. It's time for Final Jeopardy. Here is the category. Renaissance men. Make your wagers, and we'll be back with the clue after this.
It's time for Final Jeopardy. The category is Renaissance Men. Here's the clue. 10 years before a more famous work, he wrote in 1503 that the way to deal with rebels is to placate them or eliminate them. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. Elizabeth Mitchell, you went into Final Jeopardy with 2200. What was your response? Who is Voltaire? Unfortunately, that is not correct. How much is that gonna cost you? 2000, that'll bring you down to $200. We'll move on to Mike Howard. What did you come up with? Machiavelli is correct. We'll accept that spelling. Laid the groundwork for the ideas in his 1513 treatise, The Prince. What are we gonna add to your score? $201, all right. That leaves you 4,401. And now to our champ, Matt Amodio. Did you come up with Machiavelli? Who is Machiavelli? We already know you're our Jeopardy champion. The question is, how much did you wager? $37,000. Well, Matt, that gives you $83,000. This is your single biggest payday of your run. And you now have a 34-day total of $1,350,801. Congratulations, what a huge day, what a great way to start the week. Thank you and we will see you tomorrow.